Hi everybody, it's Alan from Automate Your Life and we're going to show you how to use the Google Home and Away routines to turn on your lights when you arrive at home and when you leave. Now you can use this when you're walking up to your apartment. It uses presence sensing and we're going to explain that, how you can do it even if you don't have Nest devices. All right, so the first thing you're going to have to do here is to get your Google Home app. And you're going to see right there at the top of the screen, you're going to see set up home and away routines. So we're going to click that. And it's going to take you to the screen where you can, where Google Home is going to show you that you can automatically change your temperature of your house. One of the things you do need to know is that there are routines with Google Home. You can set up your routines just by clicking on that purple button right there where it says routine. And you can go to and schedule basically what you're going to need to do when you go for bedtime or when you're at home, when you say good morning to Google um, or during your workday. Let's just show you what happens when you do at bedtime, all the options that you can have. At bedtime, you can set your volume to zero, set the time of the alarm, you can get your Google Assistant to ask you the question what time you wanna set the alarm for when you say it's bedtime, and all these options are available to you. But that's not what we're talking about here. Google actually has a home and away routine based on present. We're gonna show you how to set it up. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go back into your Google Home app. And right there on your front screen, on the home page, what you're going to see is to set up the home and away routines up at the top. So when you click that, it's going to tell you that you can set up your family members as well on the system. So if they leave or everybody leaves, you can turn off the lights and turn on the lights. So there's going to need some coordination, but we're going to set it up. Next question is going to ask if you have a Nest account. Now I don't have a Nest account and I don't have any Nest devices because what they're going to ask you is, is if you have Nest devices, they're going to use those devices for those present sensing. So I don't have it. So I'm going to say, I agree with the service to create a network, but I don't have any devices and I'm going to carry on. So don't be afraid. You can go through it. So these are the list of devices that you need in order to have present sensing, or is it? We're going to explain that. It's going to ask you to create a network. We're going to create a network. It's going to use your Google account. If you already had a Nest account, you're going to have to migrate that over anyways. So let's create the network. So once you've created a network, just press create network because Google thinks that you're gonna have Nest devices like the Nest Cam Indoor, the Outdoor, Nest DL Lock, Nest Doorbell, et cetera, et cetera. Then you just say create network. It's gonna use your Google account instead of your Nest account that you should have migrated. And then you're gonna to get to the home and the away routines. So I have a bunch of lights that Google has now figured out that I have in my home. And I have a group of lights that I'm gonna use in my family room. So I have what you see there, the WB4 and the RGBC set of bulbs that I have in my house. But I could set it up for any room in the house. I could set it for my Christmas tree as I come into the house to turn on. I could set it up for my living room light, I could set it for my garage light. But right now what I'm gonna do is go into one of the lights and I'm gonna change the setting. So by default, when you get home, there's no change, meaning whether your light is on, it's gonna stay on. If your light is off, it's gonna stay off. So this is where you're gonna set up that command for the light. So I'm gonna go into my one of my bulbs in my family room that I know it's my family room, and I'm gonna say, turn on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my other lights, and I'm gonna continuously change all those lights to turn on when I come home. But wait a minute, I don't have something called present. I don't have any device, Nest devices for present sensing, or do I? We're gonna work that out. So right now we're gonna change all the lights to turn on when I get home. And we're gonna show you how we're gonna turn those lights on with present sensing. So like I said before, you can do it for plugs, lights, switches, any of those devices that Google Assistant can figure out. So the same thing, I'm gonna go through my lights and change those lights to turn off when I leave. Now you don't have to do this. You could have basically your lights stay on when you leave. You could always ask Google Assistant to turn off or turn on your lights as you please. If you want it to be done automatically, you just have to go back to those lights or switches or plugs that you have and toggle either on, off or no change. So now you can set it with present sensing. Now, what does this mean? Well, you can use your phone for present sensing. Isn't that awesome? So when you leave your home, you'll be able to have those lights turn on with home and away routines. So what you're going to need to do is, is allow Google Home app to be using your location, even when you're not using it. So you go to agree and you just need to continue to set. You can either keep while the app is in use. I'd recommend if you actually are going to use this all the time that you're going to have to use 
the setting to allow all the time, the location permission to be used all the time. So if you don't have any Nest devices, like the thermostats, the protects, the detects, detects, and the guards, it's going to use your home address because that's the location that you're going to need to use. For me, I'm going to use my home address. So now when I drive in from wherever and coming home, it's going to have certain lights or plugs or switches to turn on. It's going to ask me using the Google map to pin my location of where my house is. I'm just going to confirm that it's pretty good already. It already confirmed my address and it creates a geofence around your house so that when you arrive to your house, you're ready to go. So once you've completed that, you've basically set up your home and way routine. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. You can watch this next video here on automate your life.